here we go. Referee, referee Dwayne Best in charge of the action. Fighters touch gloves. Malcolm, the first one to come in. Instantly a shot off Garrett. Malcolm, Malcolm with the reshot and the takedown. Looks like he's going for the guillotine here. It's going to be hard with Malcolm on top of his legs like that. You know, he doesn't have his legs wrapped up in a guard. Yep, Malcolm slipped right out. Malcolm trying to get to mount here, sitting in kind of a high half guard position. Garrett looking, uh, looking to throw up some submissions here. We're almost seeing the opposite of what we expected, Drew. Right. Maybe we picture the wrestler on top and Malcolm trying some submissions, but Malcolm got the takedown. Garrett trying to work some guard a little bit. Both guys staying very active. Right, Garrett staying busy off the back, throwing up, uh, switching hips, trying to throw up a triangle. Both guys making it hard to really, uh, you know, lock anything up or do any damage. Nobody's resting here yet. Yeah, it looks like both these guys put their time on the jiu-jitsu mats. Some, some solid grappling Malcolm coming out of uh, guys who are 0-0 here. Malcolm doing a real good job applying pressure. He's keeping his shoulder right on the chin of Garrett, if anybody notices that. And that's why he was able to pass guard and take Mount right away. And he's going to look to not get rolled here. It looks like he's getting rolled. He might end might up with an Might go for the armbar. Arm Maybe switch to the triangle here. He's got a triangle. He's got it locked. He's going to get slammed if he doesn't get the leg. Malcolm gives up the back. This could be bad. Oh, that's it. No, he doesn't have it under the chin. Malcolm needs to do his best here to fight hands and get his back to the mat. He does not want to belly down here. Garrett Scherf, he has Malcolm in all kinds of trouble right now. Looks like Malcolm's in the proper defense. Fighting the arm, turning in. Malcolm's back on top. Garrett throwing up an arm bar. Malcolm punching from the top instead of fighting the arm. He's got to watch out for the triangle here. Garrett doing a really good job switching the hips and staying busy off of his back. Malcolm starting to land some good ground pound here. True, one thing I noticed that Malcolm's doing really well is he's kind of he has a very good center of gravity where his hips are at. He's keeping them low. He's not hanging over the guy to where he could get kicked in the face, and he's keeping his pressure on Garrett so Garrett Looks like can't he's got going for a guillotine here. Good underhook there by Garrett. It's going to keep him from getting choked, but for how long? Looks like Malcolm's just using it to keep top position. Not much time left on the clock here. We'll see if uh, see what these guys have the last uh, second half of this round. Looks like Malcolm's got the front headlock. We'll see if he'll drop for a guillotine here. Good job doing the hand control. Ten seconds left. What an exciting first round. Malcolm right back into Mount again. He's got Mount with just ten seconds left. Really good grappling in the first round of that fight. Yeah, good round, good takedowns and reversals. Uh, Drew, I say I give that round to Malcolm, though. Oh, yeah, definitely. He, he landed uh, more significant strikes, uh, controlled the top position more. But uh, Garrett was staying busy off his back and did a really, really good job in there. Looks like he has some smooth jujitsu for a wrestler. Both these guys uh, not looking like beginners on the ground, which is very impressive. Uh, in the corner of Garrett, we have uh, Sean Biggs, who is uh, Sean Briggs, who is uh, going to be fighting for us here in June. Uh, really excited about his debut. Really talented fighter out of the hit squad. They have a bunch of talented fighters out there. And in the corner of Malcolm Elsey, yep. you have uh, undefeated pro uh, walk, Andrew walk Mopjitsu Eber, BJJ Black Belt, and JP Mattis. Uh, kickboxing. Both these guys come from great camps. Round two, here we go. Hey, Drew, that's one thing we know, you know, maybe that's where Mop gets that pressure from. Training with Mop. Mop's really good. The jiu-jitsu game always is about keeping Ooh, the pressure Garrett on Garrett just missed with a big head kick. Mop, I'm squaring up a little too much. Mop Seems lands a nice right hand. Oh, these guys are just throwing. Both doing a good job of slipping just out of the way. Malcolm with a good right hand to lead into a takedown. Garrett tried for maybe a triangle attempt there it looked like, but yeah, it Malcolm like was able to keep off of it and secure the takedown. Yeah, he tried uh, flying something off of that. But, uh, uh, crafty, but uh, Malcolm was able to smother it. 
And I believe he's in half guard now, kind of hanging out, keeping the pressure on. Again, Malcolm doing a good job of keeping his chest heavy, keeping his shoulder in Garrett's face, working for that pass. I assume he's probably going to work to get the mount again. Oh, oh he Malcolm, might get reversed here. Malcolm gets rolled. Malcolm trying to take the back off this reversal. Looks like he's not going to be able to do it. And then end up in side control. He's going to give up his back again. Does a good job of hunting the single, but almost gave up his back. Drew, one thing I noticed the difference between these two guys is when Malcolm takes side control, he works to keep the pressure and secure the position. When Garrett took it, he instantly started trying to land punches, and that might be what allowed Malcolm to get back out and get on top again. Right, he's doing a really good job of controlling the position. Now that he's here in mount, he's got to look to not get rolled. Garrett has a good buck and roll. There's a good umpire and roll. So, uh, We'll see if Malcolm can hang on to top position here without I'm getting sorry, ruled Rick, I'm having a hard time hearing you. What he could do here is get his arms wide and really sink his hips down, make Garrett carry his weight. He's doing a good job posturing up here, landing some nice strikes. Garrett was doing a good job of keeping Malcolm low, keeping him from attacking, but now here he let go. What Ooh, he Malcolm lands a big right hand. Both these guys looking pretty tired, Sammy. Yep. What he doesn't want to do, Drew, is what he was doing there, sticking his arms up. He doesn't want to give up an arm bar, and he doesn't want to turn down and give up his back either. All right, Malcolm going for an arm trap here, it looks like. And he's got full mount now. He's got to watch getting rolled. He's give, Garrett has given up his back. Let's see if Malcolm can put the hooks in and get this choke, or just finish it with strikes here. Garrett trying to maybe come out the back there. Looking to come out the back, Malcolm needs to get his underhooks and extend. Garrett should be looking to peel those hooks and get up. We've got 10 seconds left in this round. Malcolm landed some heavy shots. We'll see if Malcolm top. can get the finish. Garrett survives to round three. Woo. Wow. What a good, good finish to that round by Malcolm. Great finish to that first round. What a great first fight for both of these guys to get this kind of experience. They're going to go three rounds. They're both grappling. They're both extremely tired, which could play uh, play a factor in this third round. Who could push the pace, you know? Yeah, I think that's a really good thing to get out of the way early in your career, too. Uh, one thing I notice is for these guys' first fights, they don't look too nervous. They don't look real anxious, real jittery. They look like they're sticking their technique pretty well, you know? They're a little jumpy on their feet, but as far as they're grappling, it looks like another day of practice for them. Right, yeah, it looks like both these guys have been putting in the work. Both guys come from quality camps. What a great first MMA debut from both these guys. Really impressive, really excited for this third round. Uh, first round was close, but I gave it to Malcolm. The second round was pretty much all Malcolm. So uh, I'm excited to see how this third round plays out with both these guys being exhausted. Third round, here we go. Who wants it more? We're about to find out. Ooh, big right hand just missed out of here. Well, these guys throwing good straight punches, too. I think what Garrett really needs to do here, do here Drew, possibly being down two rounds, is uh, be the first one to get the takedown and to settle when he gets it, not instantly posture up. Right. I think he needs to secure the position and really lock this round in and try to get a real dominant round. Land lots of ground and pound and look for the finish if he can. I'm worried about the chin of Malcolm's, uh, Malcolm here. He's, uh, Malcolm Elsie's carrying his chin up just a little high. Almost gets a head kick there for his trouble. Malcolm easily gets the takedown, but he's in a guillotine. This could be deep. Nope, he's out. Looks like Garrett might be just a little fresher, even though he just got taken down fairly easily. Yeah, he's definitely he's definitely good at staying active on bottom, but I think he really needs to work on either getting on top or getting up and then working for his own right. takedown. It would, be, it would be for his benefit to get up and get it back to striking, try and get the finish being yep. down two rounds. But he has an arm bar here, and that looks deep. Malcolm really needs to stack him. Uh oh, this could be it. Good defense here, shown by Malcolm LZ. Looks like he's splitting the legs. He's got a dominant position on top here. Oh, gave it up. He's now in side control. Just brilliant top control here by Malcolm. 
Gonna look to take Mount again, most likely, where he has been this whole fight. He's been doing a real good job. Yep, there it is. He's gotta be careful not to get rolled here again. So when he's an airplane in his arms. Yeah, Garrett's got that overhook, and that's right what he'll be looking for with that, too. Malcolm trying to posture up here. Both guys too exhausted. This could be it. Garrett needs a buck here and then uh, secure Malcolm to stay low. He does not want him to be able to posture up and throw punches Malcolm like landing heavy shots. Dwayne Best make, taking a close look at this being an amateur fight. They will stop it before the guys are out. Malcolm really being steady with his work here. Major is not getting too anxious. He's constant. keeping his pressure, keeping his position real well. Right, a constant barrage of steady punches. Garrett gives up the back here. Malcolm's gonna keep pounding away and uh, looks like he's gonna, if he holds the position here, he's gonna end up with this decision victory. Garrett's really gotta do something drastic. He needs to get up or get a submission. With 10 seconds left, Garrett really needs to go here. Malcolm ends the fight on top, throws some soft shots. Great first fight for both these guys. Really exciting. What a performance by Malcolm, Drew, especially against a wrestler to be the one getting more of the takedowns and to spend most of the time on top like that. That's uh, especially for a first fight, you know? Right. That, both, both those guys had an absolute great performance for their first bout. Absolute great fight by both of these guys. All of, the, all of tonight's fights are really, really easy to match. So I'm not expecting a lot of first round finishes. Um, this, this whole card, top to bottom, is pretty evenly matched fights. Um, my fans, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges scored about 30 to 27 in favor of your winner. By unanimous decision, out of the red corner, Malcolm Congrats to Malcolm Elsie, Brandon Dunn, first ever MMA fight, first ever fight ever. Um, it was a good one for sure.